as companies grow, and, and every entrepreneur starts with the notion that his or her company will grow and prosper and become the new great thing, as they do, the board practices must become somewhat more formal. Um, directors in early stage companies can get their information, we used to call it management by walking around. Small companies often don't have the developed information systems, they don't have, uh, they may not even have revenue to keep track of. So directors have to use other ways to, be a, to keep abreast of what's going on so that they can exercise their duty of care and their duty of loyalty. They just need to be close to what's going on. As companies grow, and their revenue we hope grows, they will develop methods, systems, and procedures so that they can do more reporting to their boards and so we begin to see the development of more formalistic practices. It's not that the legal standard has changed, but the expectation has changed because a company that is bigger, has more revenue, has more developed processes, it's expected that they will give more information of a more sophisticated type to their outside directors. So we see that going on. So we would, we would observe that in that early, early stage company, maybe two entrepreneurs, then they add an outside person, then they add people who are, who are contributing money to the company, then maybe an, another round. We hope it's an up round and not a down round. So this process goes on and each time there is more formality required. The meetings become more formal. The reports become more formal. It doesn't mean that you don't continue to cultivate and develop your personal relationships, but we're seeing a transition. We're seeing, we're seeing more mature and developed processes. And that's an important thing that will be very important when that final stage, that liquidity event happens, because any purchaser or underwriters, if you're going public, will want to see all of these things developed in a way that they can have confidence will give them a true and accurate picture of what really is going on at that corporation. So there, there are a number of ways that we see this increased formality present itself. When in the early days, uh, maybe the board functioned in lieu of a committee. So you'd have the whole board doing audit committee functions. You'd have the whole board doing compensation committee functions. You'd have the whole board involved in all the things that a larger board would delegate to committees. So we'll see committees develop. And then we'll see individuals take leadership roles and become the chair of the audit committee, the most important committee. It used to be thought the most boring and awful assignment. Uh, spend a couple of hours a year with the auditors, and that was that. Now it's uh, the hardest assignment, maybe the most important assignment, certainly the most important assignment in publicly held corporations. So we're, we're seeing that change. We also see a few other things, at least in best practice environments. There will be a separate board leader, separate from the CEO, um, in best practice become the chair of the board. <clears throat> so uh, we, see the, we see the board adopting universally the practice of having an executive session outside the presence of the, of the management. And management should by that time have developed enough relationship with the board that they're comfortable. And it should be the practice of the chair, who's separate from management, to come back to the CEO after each one of these executive sessions and, and give them a report. When I do that as, as board chair, I always give a, a tenor. I, I tell them the nature of the conversation. And I, make, um, I tell them what went on, but without identifying wh which board member a comment may have come from. The good stuff and the bad stuff and, and realizing that the CEO and I, when I'm a chair, have one thing absolutely in common. We are both there to increase stockholder value. So we're not on opposite sides of the fence. We're working toward the same end. Um, but we will be doing some of these more formal things. We will be uh, adopting practices that are more consistent, that are moving in the direction of being consistent with the requirements of being a public company.
We may not do Rule 404, but we'll be doing a lot of the other stuff. Thank you.